Google Plus tutorial, I'm going to show you um, about your Google Plus profile and your Google Plus settings. So to adjust your profile, you're going to go on the left hand um, menu down to profile. When you click on profile, you'll notice that um, all of the things that you have, like the interests that you've shown and the posts that you've made show up here. Um, you can click here to edit your profile. You'll notice that WCPS has um, uploaded some things already for you uh, based on you, where you work and things like that because your account is under the WCPS umbrella. Uh, you can click here to change your profile picture. And when you change this picture, it changes for all of the Google tools. You can also change your banner picture for your profile page if you would like by clicking here. Um, you, again, you can upload from your computer or from uh, your Google Images, so anything that you have saved there uh, will be visible. You can um, check to have the collections that you follow um, shown on your profile page, and then if you want any communities, you can do that as well. If you click on the little I, which is the information about you, that's where you'll see the information that's been loaded about you. So you can see that they have my job title, department, who I report to, and my location here. Um, there are things that you can edit. So if you click the pencil, um, you can um, whoops. Um, you can add your occupation um, specifically there, and you can change your date of birth and all that stuff if you would like to. You can change who gets to see these things as well if that's something that you're interested in. Right now it's set for my circles to see it. If you click the plus in the bottom, it's to add information. So once you click that plus, you could add contact information for work personal. Um, you can add, insert your education experience, work history, and things like that. Any websites that you have, you could link there as well. So that's the general profile part. Basically, this is just whenever people click on your name in Google+, um, this is the information that they see about you. So you can share as much or as little um, as you would like to. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about in this tutorial is the Google Plus settings. So again, on the left-hand column, if you click the settings button, it's going to bring up a ton of different things that you can edit and adjust. Um, I personally don't really do anything in here. Um, I just leave it set the way that the county has it set for all of us. But um, you can change who gets to comment on your posts, so you can tighten it up if you'd like a little bit um, as far as the uh, uh, availability of people who can um, get in contact with you. You can turn on or off geolocation, which is just a way for them to tag your pictures based on where they were taken. Um, allow viewers to download your photos, uh, all kinds of different things with uh, photos and sharing. Um, you can also adjust many things under your profile, um, your stream, you can uh, have it just, excuse me, have it just show on your desktop or by clicking here, um, always or never. I mean, again, it's not something that I really um, have done anything with nor would I suggest that you do unless there's something specific that you'd like to adjust. The only thing that might be um, of importance to you would be your notifications. So sometimes, um, especially as you get more active with Google, your inbox can inbox can blow up with notifications as far as people posting and mentioning you and all those things. So if you click under each of these different um, areas, then you can turn on or off notifications. So it's already set that anybody that men mentions you in a post or shares a post with you, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you're notified. Um, as far as your setting or your circles, anytime anyone's add you to, anyone adds you to a circle, you've probably gotten an email um, about that at some point in time. But all of those things are, are, are set to um, notify you as well. So again, this might be something that you're really interested in changing if you're getting um, too many notifications. And as you go down through, um, there are several other things that you can change, in, um, including you know advanced settings and things like that. Up next, I'm going to show you the Google Plus app and how to access Google Plus on your iPad.